guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music and break down Franz Ferdinand. Take me out. Fun song, a little tricky because it's multiple like single guitar parts going on at the same time, but I'll do my best to break it down for you. Uh, also, I appreciate that extra support. You know, you guys like subscribing here to Marty Music and clicking that bell notification. Also, trying to dig into guitar, getting into it more. Check out the links in the description because I've got some cool bonuses down there. All right, thank you, let's do it. All right, this song really requires more than one guitar. There's a guitar on the left and a guitar on the right. And when they join together, it sounds like the song. So let me start with the left speaker guitar part. So it starts with an open E and the octave E, so that's seventh fret A string. And then you're just going two, 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 two. One and two and four and one and two and three and four and you're just hitting that seventh fret A string and then the lyrics come in. And if you seven, nine, ten, nine, seven, starts over again on that seven, nine, ten, nine, seven, and over again, seven, nine, ten, nine, seven, and over again. Seven, nine, ten, nine, seven, then ten, twelve, seven, five, the open E. I know I don't really hear. Etc. So, so far we do a bunch of seven, nine, ten, nine, seven. Then the next one is ten, twelve, seven, five, open E, then G, so third fret E to D, which is A, fifth fret, and then F, first fret E then C, third fret A string, up to the E octave. And there's actually even more than two guitars going on in this song, so I'm really uh, giving what I think will work for two guitar players, let's put it that way. So you've got the octave, which is seven and nine and the open E. Everything else is muted. So you're pounding away at that. And you do four measures and then, then bump, bump, ba da da, right? And we'll, we'll get into that. So that's the guitar on the left speaker. All right, now let's talk about guitar on the right speaker. That starts with the open E octave as well. I'm going to play it. It's the exact same thing, I'm playing it down here on the second fret D string, and the A string is muted by the tip of my index finger, and then the open E. And then I'm just doing the same thing, even on the same note, it's the same note. But we're gonna move it around in a different way for this uh, harmony guitar on the right speaker. So, starts with the same thing. But when the lyrics come in, so if you love me, there's a little trick that I'm going to show you, but let's keep it simple first. It's and so if you fifth fret D string. So, you know, you'd have like that. The other guitar on the left is doing it. This is guitar on the right. So if you five, four, nine, seven, five, five, four, nine, seven, five, five, four, nine, seven, five. Five, five, seven, two, 
open. So uh, this time we're going. So. And then. I know I will be leaving here. So this time, you know, the guitar on the left. Um, So this one does. Uh, so it's just two times on this fifth fret A string, the D note, while this one's going do 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 do. The other guitar on the right's going do 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 down a whole step do 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 E up to E and eventually that's going to become E minor. So you put those together and it does sound like that intro. All right, let me get more specific now with the build up section. So the guitar on the left it moves up to the octaves. So it does a combination of E minor and octaves. And then open strings as a little like hit and think of the top three. So you've got All right, now guitar on the right on that build up, you, you've got the. So as it builds, it starts as the octave, then you add that minor third in there, like a minor bar chord. So you're just building off of that comes the minor and you've got those same hits. And so I'm I'm uh, raising my ring and pinky off of that ninth fret. Then we've got finally the, uh, you know, the whole thing. So let's get into that. All right, guitar on the right side now is playing what I think is the most signature lick. And we're in the E minor pentatonic, basically. Uh, So we start on 8th fret B, and then 9 on G, and then 9 on G again pulled off to 7. Like that. And then we're going to the 9th fret of the D string, back up to the G string 7-9. And then finally, so both on the seventh fret, da 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 you know, just straight.
da 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 And so that's what's going on there with the right guitar. Left guitar, a little different. All right, now the signature part, left speaker guitar. Da 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 da, but with some muting in between. So da 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 ba da ba, and that's between seven and nine. Da 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 da, with all the scratching in between that. Da 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 da. So let me do it from the top. So So there's a little move once again with percussion in between, but it's so on the G string seven five, and then seven D seven A. So Left speaker main riff is what that was. All right, talking about the left speaker guitar, that way is my left, but I think yours is that way if you're listening to it, especially with headphones. Um, during the verse, when the vocals come in, that left side, left speaker guitar keeps playing the same part. keeps playing that until what we go to the bridge eventually it goes to so it goes into that octave part ah, da, da, into that so the next thing that we need to learn is the right speaker guitar part during the vocals because it changes from the signature you know so it's different but this is a good moment to talk about another guitar good part that's going on and that's the just the main chords of that part and it's also the chords of uh, the verse. So depending on how many guitars you have available, this is another part that you should uh, at least know the, the structure of. Um, so it's E minor. Don't you know? Take me out. So E minor. E minor, then A minor. A minor, don't you know? B minor, dun, dun, E minor. So that's that's for either side, another part to understand that's going on, depending on how you want to arrange it. <clears throat> I mean, if you're playing it acoustically, I don't you know? You don't know? Don't know? Don't 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 know? Exactly. So now we're going to go to when the vocals come in verse wise, but the uh, guitar parts that are on the right side, the right speaker. So let's check those out. All right. That right side uh, speaker guitar that also plays the 
the signature riff of the song, when the vocals first come in, it, it cuts to octaves of those underlying chords. So an E octave. And an A, uh, A octave. Up to B octave when the vocals first come in, right? So... Also, obviously, I didn't mention it, but the the guitar is not as clean. Obviously, it's a more overdriven, but it's a good way to hear it. So, right into the signature again. All right, next right speaker guitar part. So we're going. So it's a hammer from 7 to 8 on the B string, and then 7 on the high E, which my index finger is already covering. Does it again, then I grab 9 on the G. So... So the last two, instead of... It's hammered from 7 to 8 on the B and pinky grabbing the 10 of the high E. And does it twice and then a 9, 7 on the G. So all together you get. Now. Underneath. left side guitar as well so very much this is about it's kind of like guitars like a guitar uh you know orchestra or something to so that right side guitar bridge there's a nice little walk down like a bass line so it starts on that a note which you know could also be there feel like this is a better spot. Uh, they might be playing it there. I didn't check. So anyway, it's the same note. So 7th fret D string. 5th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, open. 2nd fret A to half step up to 3rd fret. And then the 3 to 5. So that's the right side. I know, I'm not, you know, all that part. Uh, the bridge, or the next section. The rhythm part there is just covering the fifth fret of the G, B, and high E. And then going up a whole step. right into, you know, that main section again. So listen for that part. It's buried in the mix pretty hard, but it's it's those two chords there, and we're calling that the uh, bridge section, guitar on the left, left speaker, while the other one's going. The good news is there's no new parts to learn. 
You just got to listen through it. Go through that form. There's a little, you know, break. Take me out. So I'd say the weirdest thing is, like, when you hear the parts I taught individually, um, it doesn't sound like the song unless they're all being played together. You know what I mean? But try and this is a great one to try with other guitar players or with a uh, looper pedal. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Once again, thank you so much. You know, feel free to request stuff you'd like to see in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking this video, subscribing, you know, all that stuff. So thank you and uh, hope to see you later. Take care.